A shopping mall in Xuhui District has raised the height of safety barriers on its fifth and sixth floors after a woman jumped to her death last month. That was the fifth suicide at the mall since 2008. Sun Caixin reports. Previously, the safety barriers in the Grand Getaway Mall were one meter tall. But after two people jumped from the sixth floor to commit suicide in January and March, the barriers have been raised to nearly twice their height. I think the higher barriers will prevent dangerous behavior at some point. But if people really want to commit suicide, they still won't work no matter how high the barriers are. I think our education system needs to add more mental health lessons. No matter when you feel depressed, talk to your family or friends first. The barriers could prevent suicides in the shopping center, but more importantly, we need to fix the mental problem first. Every year, around 300,000 people commit suicide in China, which means more than 22 out of every 100,000 people take their own lives. Health officials say the suicide rate has dropped by almost half over the past 20 years, but remain higher than the international average. One psychiatrist from the city's East Hospital says 60 to 80 percent of suicidal people have mental disorders, mainly caused by depression. According to our studies, the highest suicide rate happens among old people in China especially those lonely or sick elderly patients who live in villages. The media always reports on students who commit suicide in the country, but actually the group that really needs more mental help is old people. Zhao says the situation is getting better because mental illness has less of a stigma attached to it than in the past. But he says the country still doesn't have nearly enough mental health care professionals to meet demand. China only has around 20,000 psychiatrists right now, so we really need more causes for mental health. Because the fact is a large group of people visit the psychological department every day. And we also teach doctors in other departments how to tell if a patient has mental problems. Because sometimes patients don't feel well, but their physical condition is good. Apart from the help in the hospital, the city also has two suicide hotlines to provide psychological aid and crisis intervention. But currently, the service is only available in Chinese. Sun Caixin, Shanghai Life.